Hey guys, Liz again here, coming at you one more time with a really quick video. This is just another idea for a basket stuffer. If you're still trying to figure out basket stuffers for your family or for sales for your small business, um, the infamous and ever so popular bunnies. But instead of embroidering on the bunnies, um, I'm not quite there yet personally. I know some of you just embroider right through it. Some of you like to open it up and embroider. And I figured, you know what? I'm not doing either one of those things because I don't feel like it. So we decided to do sublimation instead. So most of these stuffies that you get at the Walmart or wherever it is that you pick up your bunnies, um, some people get them on wholesale websites. Some people get them at Hobby Lobby, um, the dollar store even. There's so many places. But wherever you go, most of the time, these little stuffity stuffies are made of polyester. Okay? So that is like fantastic if you're doing sublimation because let's do it now i wasn't super sure um if i should keep the same time and temp um i'm sure a simple google search would have been helpful but you know sometimes we just wing it because why not um so i just went for it at the same time and temp that i do my t-shirts and i cross my fingers and hope that uh, we didn't melt them so let's go ahead and see what they look like with sublimated ears if you happen to watch this video maybe a week before Easter, and there's no more bunnies anywhere to be found. You know what, Liz, man? I would do this, but there's no bunnies anywhere because um, they've caught them all by then. So um, if you don't have bunnies, not to worry. You can actually pick up these very inexpensive, um, these are polyester teddy bear t-shirts, okay? So it's it's pretty wide. I don't know how wide. Let me see. Let me get a ruler. Oh, ruler ruler aka measuring device and so let me see if we measure this shirt it is about eight inches wide with about um four inches from the collar to the bottom of the shirt so eight by four is your basic sublimatable space so these um especially if you can't find a bunny some kids don't even like bunnies you know what i'm saying like my kids would much rather um, put a shirt and receive a gift of a cat or a giraffe or a panda. Um, so get you some cute animal that, that your kid going to like. And uh, you can sublimate on this. You could put their name in the cute Easter font. You could put the year. You could put anything. You could put a photo on it. You could put whatever you can sublimate. You can put on these little mini teddy bear t-shirts. And then you put it on your average size stuffy. I had bought those two bunnies I showed you a while ago, but when I decided to add on this option of the sublimation t-shirt, I ran to the store to pick up another bunny uh, to put the t-shirt on, and there weren't any. So I'm like, whatever. My kids will be happy with this really adorable... Look at this bear. Oh my god. He's so soft. So fluffy. Look at his eyes. Hi, guys. Isn't he cute? So yeah, so we're going to sublimate... A nice design on this shirt and we're gonna put it on little mr bear and it's just as good if not better because you can do even more um you know embroidery is amazing and it's super high quality and you know it has a very a very fine refined vibe the embroidery um but sublimation is so much fun so let's go ahead and do that we'll do both things we will do bunny ears sublimated and we will do the teddy bear t-shirt sublimated and see how it goes. So first thing we're going to do is take the ruler and measure how much space I have on the ears. So what I did was make a rectangle um, the size of the ear or the size of the sublimatable area. And I used that kind of as a template or a guide. And I went ahead and put their names in there. I changed it to um, a font that I liked. So to see what fonts I already have installed, you can use Word Market. So it's wordmark.it, and that allows you to see um, what fonts you already have installed on your computer, because sometimes it's hard to see them all. I ended up going with this um, kind of retro, groovy looking font situation, because that seems to be very in style these days. Um, so I went ahead and resized it. Every once in a while, checking with the template that I created, um, change the color. I figured it was pretty plain, so I was just going to add in, I used the Microsoft clip art to just find a few daisies that would kind of fit the vibe. Um, so yeah, I just kind of scrolled till I found a couple that looked okay. 
I'm going to just kind of scale them down so that they fit inside that template. And we just repeated the process for Lily's name. Add in the year. I was gonna leave the year as is, but I decided it was too plain. So we went ahead and did the, the little daisy daisies along with it. So it's time to grab our little bunnies and prep them for the heat press. No animals were harmed in the making of this film. So no matter what you're sublimating, I always want to protect my heat press. Uh, I'm, it may be a bit overboard, but I always like to protect the entire surface of the heat press, even if I'm only sublimating in one corner of it. That's just me, you know. It is what it is. The ear kept slipping on me a little bit, so I ended up deciding to just tape the ear to the bottom there. I didn't have the same issue the second time, but this time I just added a little tape. Let's see how it looks. I'm always super hesitant, okay? I'm a chicken, so there's how that first ear came out. So now that I realize that I'm not going to melt the bunny, I went ahead and did a couple ears at the same time. We did double bunnies this time, um, but yeah. I'm always afraid to take the thing off because I'm a chicken, right? So it's hot and I ain't trying to burn my phalanges, okay? Once again, me being a chicken, hesitating to pull off the transfer. But I really like how they came out. Super bright, so I know that it's polyester. Um, look at that. The possibilities are endless. I think those were a great success. Um, the girls uh, already saw them, so those are not going to be a surprise. They loved them. They flipped out. So if you recall on a live I did recently, I made this floral t-shirt for the girls because I was testing out these shirts I got from the Walmart. So I decided for the teddy bear t-shirt, I'm going to go ahead and use the same design so that it could be a gift that is a coordinated gift. So like they'll have their t-shirt and then the teddy bear will have a matching t-shirt, which could be kind of cute. So I wanted to follow along the same groovy vibe or whatever. So we went with the floral piece sign. I'm just going to resize it to the sublimatable space I have on the bear. And I figured, you know what, let's be a little bit extra. So instead of just putting that design in the middle of the shirt, I decided to find kind of a floral background thing that I could use to sublimate on the sleeves of the shirt so that, you know, give it a little bit more pop of color so it wouldn't be just a basic tee. So um, again, I had to recolor it just a little bit. Um, it probably would have been a lot easier to do that on GIMP, but since I was already in Microsoft Word, I just used the, you know, the existing setting sliders to kind of finagle the colors until it looked semi related to the to the image and then I just resize it to fit both sleeves and got it printing all right so even though it's a teeny tiny little thing I decided let's just treat it like a regular shirt so it's a very thin material these teddy bear ones so I went ahead and um, put the parchment paper, sorry, the butcher paper in between the shirt just so it wouldn't transfer all the way through to the back. And always lint roll. Lint roll, lint roll, lint roll, lint. I didn't bother tearing it because again, it's just a gift for a kid. I didn't really have a concern about there being a press line. 
if it's clothing someone's gonna wear then yeah you know pair the edge to fade out the line but I don't really care I don't think the teddy bear is gonna mind and I don't think the kids are gonna mind so here I am being extra and cutting out these, this floral pattern for the sleeves of the shirt and I'm actually really glad I did because it, uh, it wasn't too shabby as we will see in just a minute I printed extras because I'll probably go back and sublimate the back side of the sleeves too um, who knows honestly I might not <laughs> And here comes the reveal, me being a chicken, pulling off the transfer tape. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. Not perfect, obviously, because of just the creases of the shirt or whatever. But I think it looks way better than just a plain white t-shirt. Look at that. Pop in colors. Let's put it on the bear. Yo, how cute is that? I think that's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yes. So cool. So now we have, in addition to our cup that we made and our cool t-shirt that we made on a live, we have the Easter bunny with its sublimated ears. All right. So it could be that is one option. Or you could, if you don't have the bunny, go with a sublimated t-shirt that coordinates. And, uh, and look at that. Look at that. It's starting to come together. Is it completed? Not yet, but look at that. We're getting somewhere. So we're gonna add a few more things as the days go by. Stay tuned to see what we're gonna add to the basket. And um, yeah, I really love how that came out. Look at that, look at those leaves. So there you have it, folks. It's very doable. We didn't burn the house down. We didn't melt the ears off and damage my wonderful heat press. Um, and the t-shirt looked really cute. So I really like the idea of even adding on the sublimation to the sleeves. So it's not just a plain white shirt. You know, you could put your kid's photo in a heart. You could put, again, like I said, the little Easter alphabets that they have, um, or even just make a matching shirt. So you could make a shirt for your child and then make a matching shirt for their favorite stuffed animal. Um, I think that would be a really great Easter basket stuffer. I will catch y'all next time to see what else we can add to the basket. It's slowly getting bigger. So hopefully the girls like all the stuff they gonna get. Uh, bye.